Every minute that ticks, I'm convinced you write something. Be it in your mind, a rough note on your diary, a draft in your notebook, or a sticky note in your computer. It could be out of imagination, an event attended, a situation coped, a word you read, a revelation you got, a vision you saw, a heart that ached, a failure you saw, a miracle that blessed, the list is endless. How often does somebody else get a piece of that insight? Is it that you don't have the courage to speak it out? You could publish it in a book, a blog, Facebook, or even talk about it with your friends. This would form the best gossip around. Instead of talking about who fell, came, went, where, don't you think so? We are calling you to be a writer. We don't have to find you on bookshelves, but you could find you in social media, helping to impact the world through thoughts. Writing is the only tool that speaks for you when you are long gone. Biblical scriptures. We are calling you to be writers. We don't have to find you on bookshelves, but you could find you in social media, helping to impact the world through thoughts. Writing is the only tool that speaks for you when you are long gone. That is why we have biblical scriptures. To reach here, there is a cost. Can you guess it? I'm waiting. Let me ride you through. First, it is very expensive. You remember that dress or shirt you were bought for Christmas in those long ago days. You even had to take a photo. It was worthwhile. That's why. No wonder it was bought once a year. To be a good writer of even one statement quote, you must be a good reader. Which sites do you visit on the internet? 99% is social media among youths. No wonder the posts you update are something like, ah, oh, I'm so sleepy. I hate seminars. I'm so bored. I can't sleep. Tell me what I'm thinking. Brethren, we can be instruments of change as we spread the voice of God. Writing isn't for the chosen few. We can all burst into flames and impact the world with words. Thank you.